Hello again, everybody. I uh, just wanted to give a demonstration of me actually putting together my five plate uh, cell design here for the hydrogen generator that I'm making. Um, as you have seen in my previous uh, post, I had a felt five cell design, and I wanted to tell you a little bit uh, some different changes I made. As you might have noticed in some of my previous designs, um, I had a bigger hole with just a rubber grommet as such um, in there protecting the previous screw from coming through and not uh, shorting it out. While I was testing it, I noticed that the rubber grommets were actually preventing um, the spacing of the cells between each other. I wanted them a little bit closer and I could not do it with those so I decided to cut little sections off of everywhere that there was a grommet to make sure to get rid of the grommet for one and to make sure that uh, wasn't going to touch one another so that's a little bit different um, these two holes are just existing from where I bought the plates and I have uh, drilled and tapped that one out for a quarter twenty stainless steel bolt so uh, without further ado just wanted to show you how this is put together I start out with two nylon bolts I'll take the first cell put them in there flip it over and I have some washers, or some spacers, rather, that I um, got at Lowe's. They were a quarter of an inch wash or spacers, but I needed them smaller um, from testing, so I got them down to about 160 thousandths um, instead of 250 thousandths, um, just sanding them down. So I place those over the nylon bolts. As you can see, then I take my second cell, flip it, place it on there, as you can see. Now I'm just going to repeat this by placing the spacers, the next cell. You can see the third cell there. Okay. Again, more spacers. Okay, now this uh, fourth one here is a little bit different. Because I have five plates, I am needing to connect this one um, to the other plates. So I, I cut a little notch out, if you can see here, of that top, so that when this is in here and it's together, this plate it's not um, mashing things up and make, being problematic with my spacing and so go ahead and put that on there and because of this right here I'm gonna go ahead and connect with my wire here as best as possible I can here going to kind of leave that right there. I'm going to take my last plate, put my washers or uh, spacers on, get that on there. And I will tighten everything up with uh, just two nylon bolts. Make sure everything's tight. Get that tight there. Okay. Now I'm just kind of up close, as you can see. Um, over here's a better representation. The plates there and the spacers. And I think it actually should do a little bit better than last time. Um, having some interference problems with the rubber grommets. Um, so I decided, well, get rid of those and do this design. So I'm going to finish uh, attaching this. As you might wonder, the other connector is just uh, placed right here and uh, screwed in this way. And it goes all the way through connecting to the back. So in effect, I have one, two, three, 
positives or negatives, whichever way you want to go, and two of the other set. All right, guys, back again. I just wanted to show y'all. Um, I was having troubles with uh, getting the wire to come out the top here like I had planned. I wasn't um, taking into a, a account the thickness of these ring terminals that I was using here was actually um, bigger than the, the spacing that I'm providing for each plate. So um, solved that just by going out of the side here. Um, <laughs> like the things I cut, I'm really happy with this design. Now I have even spacing. Um, between pretty much all my my plates here, um, uh, the positives are not touching the negatives, which I like. Um, the rubber grommets were kind of hindering there, so I like it. Just comes up the top here, and this is my cell. Um, like I said before, um, just the nylon spacers in there, about a hundred and sixty thousandths um, of an inch between each one give or take a little bit for some fine tuning here with threading the bolts through. But that's pretty much it. I guess uh, in the future there's probably room for a few more cells, <laughs> but um, this design works pretty good. Anyway, that's it. Looks good now.